Animals, this is your boy Melted. Today we are playing Starfield because recently I've seen some very interesting update. So today I have uh, prepared a new save. I'm gonna jump right into it. I just finished the tutorial to session. So research facility is in so this direction. Just a stupid <laughs> Seven years old, when I realized it was an animal. Sure, some people want their food to 
And I thought it's like a horror. is like 140 this is like 10 times the, the normal all you need to do is just change the settings it's so good get more carrying weight it you get like less percentage of your wait hold on since we're talking about it might as well where is it bloody can't read settings gameplay yep carrying at c capacity minus eight percent xp and you get a I guess the sick of com people's complaining this and that, how you can just DIY your game style. I'm, I'm pretty impressed, I like it.
people who are interested in what those books are saying. I'm sorry. Just, I don't like reading. I suppose I can leave it out for a bit longer before I click it away. guy who was talking but the some monster got loose okay
What? Zero percent health. Yeah, yeah, don't look at me like that. I heard something. I know it. <laughs> that piece of... center of mass. robot is just like unstoppable <laughs> Prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. New I fight it! The enemy has dropped out of our view. Man, the, the firing rate of this. There are no hostile organisms nearby. Get rich, buy some good weapons. Someone 
trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. a high likelihood of human death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you go forward then? Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. I have often asked the most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Barrett would say that billions of years ago, we were all one with the cosmos, so technically you have known each other forever, but the more practical answer is likely that he needs you. The number of known people who have been affected by the artifacts is now two. Without your investment in Constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So, he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Okay. Carrying objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Oh, he can carry a lot too. That's pretty good. Oh, 
reloading. I was like, why can't I shoot? Okay, that's new. Space Age still using bubble level. It's a bone stand. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck! When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Damn. Huh? You can cancel. Marine, we now have the second piece of puzzle fully grown alpha. Building. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make you. The whole room is trash. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. 
and more people screaming.
I'll say, but you know what, what I mean. Expect me to talk? I mean, you gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold dead hands? Oh no, you see, right, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet Rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. Space We're end. taking that ship. Bruh. You're Let's not talking us out of this, this score. Bruh. They aren't? You sure? I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. I'm getting that ship. Stop trying to confuse me. Uh, I've heard enough out of you. Kill them! Programmed for combat.
kidding me? The Frontier has a new... Oh no, you see, every crim... That statement is, but the only thing... I don't care what... You're not talking us out of... No. They aren't? You sure? You willing to give up the ship? Just like that? Can't believe this. There isn't any treasure. We've been trailing that old Constellation ship for nothing. Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again, you're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Save again.
speed to two minutes.
prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And here's your new okay. captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Mm. Well, that's good stuff. Eon. Get better price, sell the books at the right place. Cell twenty five. Going to
way. It's selling for way more. What the? Bosco! What? No hey. care? Bill. Blah, 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 blah. Looking for... Let's talk. Yeah, let's sell the cheapest. Count as like eight things. Count as one. Unique item. Got it. Got it. Oh, this is actually so good. <laughs> Been playing cards. Every single card is different. Different notepad counts as like. And here's your new cap. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Hey. I'm glad I finally caught up with you. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. Good. Because what I'm about to tell you could change the course of your life. 
The Trackers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. Wonderful. I appreciate you hearing me out. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. I should unlock the skill for it first. So, kind of annoying. I guess it loads pretty fast. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. And Mr. Bosch, let me just say how honored I am to meet you. By all accounts, you're the only reason anyone made it out of their life. I'll just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool! Is it true that the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last year. It kind of smelled. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no... Yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state-of-the-art. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Little unfair, don't you think? Freestar Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. 
got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted. How can you detect us? No questions asked. Even helped with some repairs so I could do an emergency jump home. Good people. In any event, you all must be exhausted. Just give me a moment to coordinate some details with security. That's so cool. May I help you? Oh, I've never been in a battle before. Everyone kept telling me to keep my eyes closed, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're running. At first, I thought it was ecliptic mercenaries shooting at us, but it wasn't. It was these other people yelling about serpents and stuff. Just saying, your haircut is kind of ugly. Is that really an appropriate thing to say to a child? Anyway, I'm fine now. I hope my parents don't take too long getting here. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're Does interested. Does that woman really? have any idea who I am? Like saying world is a dangerous place is inappropriate. Like well, I guess it's like you freaking old enough. Hi. You know better. Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just float through the stars and dream. Well, in the big picture, it would look like that. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. <laughs> not what, who. How to describe House Varun? Well, imagine a, a bunch of colonists who set off into the stars ages ago, disappeared, and then re-emerged as a sort of religious society. Faction or cult, whatever you want to call them. They believe in some sort of celestial deity called the Great Serpent. Uh, real nightmare fuel kind of stuff. About a hundred years back, they picked a fight with pretty much everyone in the settled systems. I guess your school never covered the Serpent's Crusade, huh? We eventually made peace, sort of. Then they just... disappeared. They're out there, somewhere. Or so folks assume. The ones that attacked us, they were the hardliners, for sure. You meet those guys, you run. You understand me? Yep, that I have. Had to dump a load of cargo just last year. Microscopes. Can you believe that? <laughs> Guess you can sell anything these days. Pirates are a tricky lot. In space, they're all about the hit and run. They jump in, steal your stuff, and get out of there fast. Keep your cool, and you can generally talk your way out of it. So long as you're not too attached to your valuables. Stumble upon them planet side, though. And their trigger fingers get much itchier. Well, Ricardo Bosch. I was the lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture or whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now... I just want to get back to work. Where is that woman? Goodbye. She can't Hello. do this to me.
partner and I have talked about transferring to the same division. It did allow us to spend more time together. Okay. No bounty. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. It seems like a small decision, but they... up over time and it's paralyzing it really stop hello and well hi there well, welcome indeed. certainly please take your time yes Hope you're finding everything you need. Hi there! Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, please, take a look. Oh, please, take a look. Thanks. It's hard work, but it all pays off in the end. And I can't take all the credit. Gerhardt, my business partner, he does so much of the work behind the scenes. If it weren't for him, I don't know where we'd be now. Appreciate the business.
I am not a stock boy. I am a woman. Hey! Give that back! I am not a stock boy. I am the owner. Yeah, somebody got insecurity. Hey! Give that back! You Keep see security! Back. Get back here now! Find me in another dimension, bitch. <laughs> another, another timeline. I am busy right now. If you need something, why don't you talk to Emoli? She'll take care of you. If you want to buy something, I'm sure Amoli can assist you. I have work to do. I'm afraid there are far too many other things that require my attention right now. The kiosks will cover any basic questions you may have, I'm sure. If it's something more pressing, perhaps a moly can be of assistance. Use 16% O2 for three minutes. I traded for 30. What?
there's a bit more in the back if you're not You see that scientist out in front of Mast, staring at trees? Sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, I'm we appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Indigo. Protocol Indigo. Where is it? Sarah Morgan. Chair of Constellation. That means anything you discussed with Barrett is my business. Now, if you would please answer my question. Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? Really know how to make I see. Bosco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. 
that energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godfrey? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. I'm not wearing discount spacer. Take note. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. My frustrations lie more with Barrett, not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Is he still likable? That was a rough start. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance. So I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Okay. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Not exactly, no. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. 100%. Frankly, 
This is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. This guy is why everyone wanna be Until next time. Money to do a, a new one. This is Quite all amazing. exciting, but there's really a lot of pressure on us, isn't I hope there? You've got your pen at the ready, Walter. Right. Right. Bill, are you doing okay? I'm not it's sure anyone really I asked yet. Credit. Don't want you to think we're focused on the sure. artifacts and nothing else. You, free, you yeah, matter too. This You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. Sometimes I think you I'm Matteo, theological you scholar by trade, but now, you and I well, both know you an explorer like you. And you love every minute of Take care of yourself. I think I've talked to him. Yeah. Let's go. So, are you ready to get to work, or was there something else? We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an... Electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We're gonna do that quest as soon as possible because it's hard to steal. Time to go. Around. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Good. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Stay safe, okay? I am at your service, Captain. Ready to head out there? Or did you still need time on your own? Walter, you don't have to answer this, but I was wondering something. You're around the Lodge a lot. Like, almost all the time. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? My wife has therefore decided it is best if I can dedicate my time to our... I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we?
we need to talk to John Tuala. Until later. It's you and me from here out. Talk to you later. My contact is in Vanguard Recruit. I'll be right here. We need to talk to John Tuala. All right, let's go.